Okay, so shear and moment in beams. Now, before we uh, talk about this, uh, the nitty gritty details, uh, we need to have to consider a sample structure shown here. We need to consider a simply supported beam of span L shown in the figure. Now, when you say simply supported, uh, this term over here refers to simple supports, the pin and roller support, okay? When you say simply supported, I would like to uh, you guys to first take note on this. When you say simply supported, that is a pin and roller roller combination, okay? So when you say pin and roller, uh, both have uh, corresponding uh, characteristics. Ananiya. Now, when you have pin, literally the structure is pinned at one point. apply. Now, when you say pin, if pin siya, let's say, I've got my hand here. Okay, I pin this imaginarily to the board. Now, I cannot move this uh, in the x direction. Know that, uh, and also I can also uh, move this vertically. There is a restrain, a restraining uh, force here that prevents me from moving this sideways and moving vertically. Okay, so that's when you say pin. Now, when you say roller na pod, that means uh, our support here is only restrained in. Uh, way na dili siya mukuan sana so, na ang asa uh, asa normal rather ato ang roller now this roller here prevents uh, this beam this part uh, the beam from going down hence there is a normal force na uh, act din sa ato ang roller so in other words both supports na siya mga corresponding reactions niya now when I talk about pin, again, they uh, move sideways, so there must be a horizontal reaction. Okay? Now, when you say, kuan sa this is move sa pasaka, so nasa tay corresponding reaction sa dindari, RY. Okay? Uh, for convenience, I would like to label this as point A, and this is uh, point B. Okay? So, just changes to R A Y and R A X rather. Now this is unsa R B Y. Okay. Wala shay kwan. Wala shay X component. Why? This roller is free to move this way. But it is not free to go downward. Okay. Now that is the concept of a uh, pin and roller combination. That is uh, what is meant to be uh, sa simply supported na uh, tong beam. Now, I would like to erase this uh, to make more room. Now, we have this uh, beam here. It is subjected to a uniform load, na, uh, no, uh, non-uniform load rather. Yes, and W, arbitrary ni siya. At different uh, instances, location, ano na tong beam, na siya na differing na mga magnitudes dito siya ga stay the same okay non uniform ni siya to on a load now i would like to analyze this okay usually how do we analyze uh, structures back in uh, our physics we use free body diagrams diba and we pick out uh, external internal forces ion and we analyze it then ba now if that is the case i would uh, like to arbitrarily select a very small segment sa ito ang beam diri. Okay? It is located horizontally from our uh, point of ref reference. I'll just choose A as our point of reference. Can diri pa yung dito? The distance of X. Now, take note. This uh, piece over here is uh, very small. Infinitesimally small. Now, I'll just call this uh, unsa piece diri. Delta X. Okay? So, Delta X ni siya. Dari, dari yun. Now, 
I would like to pick this segment here and isolate this. Ako rin siya i-draw ang iyong free body diagrams na yun. Now, just take this uh, small segment here. Now, ako rin siya further elaborate diri. Sorry. Uh, small segment. Small segment sa itong beam. Pick this uh, very small. Now, ito rin siya i-enlarge. Ito siya i-blow up rather. Uh, just a minute. Okay, so uh, this very small segment here, we need to uh, judge. Sa tong gamitun dary na magnitude sa tong W, di ba? This is right smack in the middle of our quandary, part of the beam that is exposed to W. Now, where are we going to sa use in W? W can be any value, ba? It can range from uh, 10 to 69 kilonewtons or unsa whatever number na ang mga kwan na sa sa tong beam. Now, whatever ano siya, even though na gavari siya, but we have to uh, take note here that this is a very small part sa ito ang kwanda ni BIM. Ba? Small, so small na any difference lugar din ano siya, even though we can uh, verify in the original figure, nag-differ ang iyong magnitudes, but once again, makasitorya tayo ng small na uh, segment, Almost any difference anak niya will be very negligible, very small na kayo, ba? So, in other words, kwa ni siyang mga kwandiri, let's just zoom na lang anis siya that this is all throughout more almost equal na siya, okay? If there is a difference, gamay na gikay na siya sa natanan, okay? Now, that distance also will be denoted as delta x, Delta X is also a very small distance, okay? It is infinitesimally small. Now, for uh, this case, then I say, uh, we've just picked this apart. Now we need to take note of the reactions. We need to take note of the reactions that come out sa tuang small segment here. Now, we have uh, this point here, it will uh, release uh, internal forces, and this point here, nagyapon siya mga internal forces that I'm release. Now, for this case over here, we have a uh, shear, ba? Take a vertical na rin force din magawas. Now, aside from that, we will have a normal force. Okay? Actual na force niya. Although very gamay rin yapon siya, so, pwede na siya ma let go later on. Okay? Now, Aside from that, there is also moment. Okay? I'll just uh, label the point here as number one, point one. And this is point two. Okay? Now, considering point two, ito siya draw ang shear aninia. At first, the shear is vertical. Ba? But once uh, there is a kwan, relationship between a uh, uh, load and also shear so along though sa pagkuhan niya pagtabok niya dito that shear will eventually change ang iyong nature na pod so I'll just take note of this change in nature sa itong shear as going down ba? and take note of this delta V this is the change in shear sa itong kwandari at point 2 from uh, with respect rather from point 1 now aside from that Kung sa itong ibuat na rin na point, mungyap ang itong ibuat na rin na rin. To keep the nature of equilibrium, I would have this normal force directed niya po nito, opposite na nang sa itong original na normal force, point one. Now, aside from that, we'll have moment sad na kanisad siya, paano sa dito. Moment plus, take note sa nato ang differential niya, delta M. So, we have a free body diagram na siya, ba? Almost. Now, the only thing na wala pa na ito na-evaluate diri, kay kini si load, which is W. Now, I would like to, kung ano niya, I would like to change this W here into something else na mas kung siya, mas easier to manage. 
change it into a concentrated force, which is equal to W times delta X. Force, uh, force over distance multiplied by distance is equal to force. Okay? Uh, ako lang sa siya sulat din diri, where W is load. Okay? This is um, force over length. Okay? Length, distance, whatever. Okay? So, M here is moment. V here is shear. And of course, then, you can see normal force, rather, NF. That is our normal force. Okay? If you have any questions, uh, kindly comment on the video, and I will try my best to answer them.